Question number three. We have two boxes connected by a cord running over a pulley. The coefficient of kinetic friction between this box and the, between box A and the table is 0.2. So we have to determine the acceleration of the system as box B moves down and box B moves to the A. Eh, box B moves down, box A moves to the right. Okay, so if you ever come across this type of questions, please remember that you always need to draw different free body diagrams for each of this uh, for each two of these blocks lah. okay so first we are gonna draw the free body diagram for the first block uh, so we have so I'm just gonna draw it here and then drag it down later so firstly we are gonna uh, based on what we see here we have both the normal and the weight force okay and then we do have some tension and friction force so that's gonna be somewhere here eh. let me just let me just fix this Okay, so don't forget to draw your arrow because some of you didn't draw the arrow in your assignment. So that's why your assi assignment punya marks is quite low. Lah. Okay, then draw the same thing. Uh, basically, we label it first. Lah. So this is the weight force. So this is going to be MAG. Okay, don't forget to label mass of block a not just mg sebab nanti kalau kamu sini letak mg sini pun mg how do you know which am i using is it the 5 kilo ataupun the 2 kilos okay so please remember that then we have tension which is going away from the object along the rope and then this is the normal force this is the kinetic friction force kinetic friction okay so this one let's put it down there here so this is your first free body diagram so kalau ada salah satu je di force ni uh, kalau salah satu dia didak usually they didak one marks je lah tapi to, in order for you to get full marks you have to have all the label and the arrows drawn correctly lah okay next we are gonna draw the second block so this one is just on the y-axis so it's gonna be something like this lah okay so we have this one here this one is the mass okay so let's drag this down here so label them this is m b g and this is tension so since this is the same rope they will have the same tension. Okay, tapi kalau uh, ada dua rope yang berbeza, please remember, they won't have the same tension. Okay, alright, so after drawing the free body diagram, kamu boleh start to do your equation. So, for block A, so do it for block A dulu. So, this is going to be total force in the X component equal to M A A. Okay, kenapa ada acceleration? Sebab dia cakap it is moving to the right. This one is going down. Oops. Okay. So, anything that follows the direction of acceleration will always be positive lah. So, kalau dia tiada acceleration, kamu follow balik the sign convention. Atas kanan positif, bawah kiri negative. Okay. So, this is going to be T minus FK equal to MAA, where the friction is mu K N equal to MAA. So, since we do not have the value of the normal force, we have to find it by referring to the Y component. So, the Y component has no motion, so it's going to be equal to 0. So, this is going to be N minus MAA. G equal to 0. 
So, the normal force is equal to mag. Okay? So, kita substitute lah dalam this equation here. Mu k m a g equal to m a a. So, kalau boleh, kamu tulis lah juga ah. So, substitute n into equation 1. Right? So, from here... Uh, T is going to be equal to MAA plus mu K M A G. Okay. So now we have two unknowns. We have acceleration and tension. So sekarang ni kita mau cari acceleration. So we have to remove tension out of this equation. So what we do is we are going to refer to the second block which is block B lah. So, for block B, kita just add a Y component. So, we are just going to focus on the Y component. So, this is going to be MBA. And the weight force is positive because it follows the direction of acceleration. Minus T. So, this is MBA. So, this is then equal to T MBA. Eh, sorry. MBG minus MBA. Okay. So, sekarang kita boleh substitute. Uh, this is equation 2. So, we are going to put this as equation 3. So, what we can do is we substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Okay. So, from here we will then get... MBG minus MBA. So this is equal to MAA plus mu K MAG. So we put acceleration on the left side and then anything other than acceleration on the right hand side. Lah. So we have MAA plus MBA equal to MBG minus mu K MAG. So what I did was I rearranged this. Pindah sini, yang ini, pindah pergi sebelah. So dari positif dia jadi negatif. Yang ini dari negatif jadi positif. Okay. Alright. And then factorize acceleration. So this is MA plus MB equal to MBG minus mu K MAG. So acceleration is equal to MBG minus mu K MAG. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to directly substitute for, from the atas lagi atau tidak. But I just find it much more easier to to do it this way because you reduce the chances of you making any callous mistakes lah okay so this one you will get uh oh i don't actually remember where's my calculator let me just calculate it quickly but first i need to find my calculator okay so, I think if I'm not mistaken, my student said it is one point something something. Uh, but let me see. So, MB is 2 kilogram to 9.81 minus mu point two five 9.81 divide by 7. Yes, it is 1.40. So, 1.40 meter per second square is the acceleration lah. Okay, so this is for question number 3. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this in one video lah. So, for question 4, this is an inclined plane punya situation lah. So, the situation is we have a skier begin descending. So, she is descending from a 30 degree slope. So, this is not 30 degree, 30 degree, but that's fine. This is just a sketch. Okay, so sekarang ni dia... 
Ah, uh, itu dia lah tu. Malas mau lukis. Uh, let me just remove my cap. Okay, so now the only thing that the question gives us is the coefficient of kinetic friction. So that is mu k lah. So the mu k is equal to 0 0.1. So we are asked to calculate her acceleration. Okay, so untuk inclined plane, please remember that the x and y axis, it's not like the usual... Uh, it's not like this one lah, okay? So you don't draw it this way. You always draw it at an inclined, at inclined plane juga lah, okay? Okay, so now, uh, we have the... So I'm just gonna draw it here ataupun... Draw it here lah, eh. I'm gonna draw it here. So that you can see... See it lah. Okay, so this is your weight force. So it will always, always pointing downwards. And this is your normal force. It is always going to be 90 degree to the surface. Okay. Next, since it has friction, it will be here going against the motion of the skier. Okay. So the 30 degree angle will always be attached to the y axis okay so this is mg this is 30 degree this is your normal force this is your kinetic friction all right so that is basically your complete free body diagram now let's try and do the equation lah. so since this have both x and y we have to consider both x and y x and y lah, okay so this is um, A, and the acceleration is going to the right here. So this will be negative Fk equal to Ma, where the friction is equal to negative mu k n. La. So this is Ma. Okay, again, we do not have the value of n, so we are going to look at the y component. So this is going to be equal to 0. So that is just n minus mg cos 30 degree equal to 0. So n here is equal to mg cos 30 degree. Right, so we substitute that into this equation here. Mu k mg cos 30 degree equal to ma. The mass cancels out. So we have acceleration equal to negative mu k g cos the d degree. Okay, so the uh, the acceleration is basically negative because it is the skier is actually trying to stopping down to stop. She is trying to stop as she is descending from the slope lah. and your answer is supposed to be negative 0 0.85 meter per second square okay so that is her deceleration lah. Ataupun, that is her acceleration when she's trying to stop okay deceleration not the term the right term i think okay so this is question number four and that is for both three and four lah. Punya solution.